This is brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Earth on YouTube. Gardening 2019. Melon Garden. I got everything cleared out and moved it all to the side. But before I did, I mowed yards mowed down. And what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and get rid of this dirt, get rid of that, make hills like I did there. Might take the plastic up and do a, or redo those as well. That was those were down one foot. I'm gonna go ahead and put this post back in and make it two feet. So after my uh, trellis fell down, I uh, ended up deciding or thinking about it, and I decided to go ahead and finish digging. This is what I've got finished so far. Now I have to do that part. I'm gonna pull. That plastic back up and peel all that, and get it back into shape. And I'm gonna dig this two feet down and put my post back in right there. And then I'll start working on that too. But before I do all that, I'm gonna transplant that. And like I said, grew my garden, so it's mine. Okay, here's the front of this button. And I've got the, this part of the garden empty. Now I've got to take and put the plastic over the top of this. And I'm going to do like I did down here. I'm going to get these sticks. I'm going to mark where the holes are. And then I'm going to pull the plastic off. And I'm going to take that dirt first clean it out and, but after I clean it out I'm going to put heels around these right here so I'm going to pull that plastic up and re that and get it all back in order after the tr uh, trellis and everything fell down and uh, I just wanted to take some pictures let you guys know what it's looking like Get a distant shot from here. These are always hard to get. Yeah. So this is my progress so far. Okay, I have all the plastic down now. I use bricks to hold it in place. And take some pictures of it.
you know. Grab my sticks. These are my sticks here. I'm going to use them. Let's see if I can put the camera back and just hold the sticks in front of you. Yeah. I'm going to mark the, the host. I'm only going to do nine in each of them. So nine, eighteen, eighteen sticks. After that, I take the plastic off and I go over to my hill and I start hilling or yeah my dirt hill over there I clean that up and then I start putting hills on the sticks and where they're marked at and then I'll put the plastic back over after it's done and I wanted to film that so I could show it and this is what it will look like eventually but it would be better because those hills got damaged during the storm we had a 45 mile an hour wind storm that came through, knocked the trellis down, did a little bit of damage here, so I will get back with you. Okay, I pulled up the plastic there. That's what it looks like after the storms. We've got sticks set up. There, like I have them there. I used to have double the amount here. I got three there. The reason why I did this I, was because I needed piles to walk through there because last year I couldn't get through. So I needed to be bigger. I also dropped this down a little bit lower. That way, when the water, our yard has a, a comes from this way in our yard, the rain does. So when it does, it comes this way, and then it flows down this way and hits this area here. And when it does that, I want the rainwater to be able to flow over into this area and over into that area. Instead of just going from here down to there and keep on going, that was I figured I'd make it to where the rain would come in here and it will uh, stay here instead of flowing down the hill because we're at a slant, kind of like that. Pictures as I can get. Be back when it's got the uh, hills up and it's all ready to go. This was brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Earth on YouTube. Gardening 2008, Melon Garden Part 3. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, Please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.